We are live. Welcome to the Roasting Show. I'm your host, James. I just made some Swiss Miss. Swiss Miss is great if you don't know. Uh, it just brings back the childhood memories. All right. So, and I'm going to show you guys uh, my favorite. This is one of my favorite cigars of all time. This is a Caffey. K-A-F-I-E. A Caffey -E, 1901 Don Fernando Maduro. This is a killer cigar. Oh, we got three people, what's up? And this cigar, I've, I, this is my last one, so I'm kind of upset, actually, that I'm gonna be uh, smoking it, but it's very good. What else? Um, I have a huge, huge, uh, uh, two things to show you guys. What's up, Josh? And we're gonna be roasting coffee for you guys as viewers. I have my number one fan, Christina. I have to get her package out, so we have to roast that. And I think that's it. I mean, it looks a little cricket, doesn't it? I don't know. So how are you guys doing this afternoon? We got five people. Do you need to start up? Give me a good thumbs up here. All good here, Josh says. Josh, this cigar is killer. It's kind of like a s'more, but it's just natural sweetness. It's a lot of graham cracker flavors, ma marshmallow flavors. This is a killer cigar from Honduras. The family is Honduran. Great cigar. Perfect for this time of year. Nighttime in Toronto. Toronto? You're like in the eastern uh, time zone, right? Mm. So it would be like what, like 12.30 there? But I love Toronto. I heard it's a. I heard Toronto's like the cleanest city in the whole entire world. Uh, in the whole world. Now don't tell anybody. But I'm gonna put some spiced rum in my hot cocoa. That's the trick if you want to get really toasty. So here's what I do. I get some Costco rum, and I put about. Eh, well, that looks good. And then it may seem. Hey, what's up, Kay Berry and Ron Johnson, 1040 in Ohio. Go Buckeye. If you're a Buckeye fan, go Buckeye. Um, oh, yeah. Have you guys ever had this stuff? It's called Reese's, like, uh, Dairy Whip topping. I don't know. Hey, how's it going, Caesar? Caesar's my neighbor here. Uh-huh. <laughs> Now it's a night. Looks kind of brown, doesn't it? I guess that's the Reese color. I'm not sure. But that with rum and hot cocoa, that makes a killer uh, drink. Yes, I make drunken hot chocolate with Bailey's and uh, almond liquor. Huh. Very cool. I've never had almond liquor. Is it almond or almond? I'm not sure. That sounds good, though. I love anything with Bailey's I'm pretty much obsessed with. Hey, Ron, how's it going? Go to go Bucks just lost our head coach, Crowned Heads, Buck Island Cigar in Ohio exclusive that you should check out if you ever get a chance. I might, I might have to check it out, dude. I might have to check it out. It, it, this is like the best, for me, this is like one of the best drinks. If you make it with, um, uh... Mexican chocolate, like Ibarra, or uh, I think it's uh, Abuelitas, I think it's called. I think it's like grandmothers in Spanish. Abuelitas or Ibarra. People either do one or the other. It's a killer uh, Mexican drink. We gotta start roasting coffee here. Hold on. Let's see. Here. Yeah. Yeah Ethiopian. We gotta get this thing opened up and start roasting. Dude knows how to spoil himself for real. I do, man. If you don't, uh, if you don't have kids, I find it's a lot easier to spoil yourself. Because what am I going to spend my money on? On my dog? You know, my wife? Um, yeah. Let's see here. Um, alrighty. So, run. X2 on the TNT. Nice. Okay, hold on here. Hold on. Hold on there, Bob. So I have to measure out about a pound or so. I like to do about a pound at a time. And your packages I'm going to send out to my fans. I'm going to have about a half a pound in there. Let's see here. 
Let's see here. Hold on. We have to do some measuring. Let's see. What's the best? I can never figure out how to measure this stuff. I think this is, how much is this? Come on. This is somewhere around 12 ounces. Okay. So I can eyeball it here. And I normally go, this is what I do actually. I do it by line of sight. I have to have three. What I do is I line it up to the third hole in that spoke. You probably can't see it actually. Uh, you can't see it. But that's about a pound or so. so. I can wait as well, but honestly right now when I'm doing a live video, it doesn't matter. No one cares. Coffee's coffee at the end of the day, right? Okay, we'll put this in here. Oh. Come on! There we go. There she fits. That's the ticket. Okay. Get that out of here. Wish my table wasn't so wobbly. Whew. One pound. Get that off of there. That's how you burn crap. Uh, one pound max temperature max time. And we're gonna do. Uh, I think I just always do P5 in the in the in the winter time here. Mm-hmm. Oh, Chris Kirby, have you ever tried Arturo Fuente coffee? I have not. Uh, I, th I think I should try it, though. <laughs> Simon says, looks like a microwave. He's very right. Looks like a toaster oven. Uh, coffee is the nectar of the gods. It is. This is what I do. I'm going to increase the speed here. And we're going to check the temperature here every couple of minutes okay and if you guys see this thing that says error let me know I have to push the start button if I don't push the start button uh, yeah it, it turns off it's a safety feature put this over here yeah so this this Caffey cigar it's Caffey is a, is a, a hunter and family and man they make coffee and cigars and I'm, I'm telling you what these cigars are a, a gem it tastes just like I remember it very uh, very chewy in texture. It's, it's a killer cigar. I, I'm looking at my stuff over here. I've got a lot of cool stuff to show you. I'm wondering what to show you guys first. Hmm. Hmm. Well, I'm trying to compose a list of stuff for cigar guys for for the holidays. Kind of like a gift list because I get you know I I have the luxury of trying really cool stuff and. Coffee is good, but coffee made by Cuban is <laughs> very true. Cuban coffee is very good. Christina, Christina, we're roasting your coffee right now. So I'm gonna send this tomorrow morning and you're gonna get it. That's what's going on. Mm-hmm. Okay, hold on. Whoop, whoop. So Christina has a P.O. box and I told her on Facebook, uh, I don't care, just let me just send one to you. Let me send, just let me send something to you. So we're gonna roast her coffee. And the idea is if I can roast it today, it's gonna be fresh, you know, for whenever she gets it in a few days. So that's my hope. That's the, that's the idea anyway. Christina, we're also drinking some hot cocoa with some rum in it. It's a killer cigar with, with hot cocoa. Um, check this, okay, so here's, hey, Ron says, James, you missed what we were doing with TNT Scars. Did you hear about Bradley on Dana? What? Did I hear about Bradley and Dana? No, I didn't. What happened to Bradley and Dana? Uh, why is the postal service closed? Oh, you know what? George H.W. Bush passed away, so tomorrow is a day of mourning. Rest in peace. Oh, really? They're leaving TNT? Why are they leaving TNT? They have to leave TNT for a good reason, otherwise, um, it, yeah. I'm assuming they're going to either start their own company or 
do something with Tim. I don't. I have no idea. Well, Tim. Tim's is a family company right now. Uh, yeah. Watch a lot of your videos today. Enjoyed the cigar reviews. My big fan. Thank you. Thank you. Probably Ron says. I'm thinking they're starting their own company. They should start their own company. Um, now that they have left TNT, um, I can tell you guys a little bit um, of what Tim told me. And that is basically TNT is not a very good employer. Um, at the end of the day, if you don't treat your employees well, um, that your employees leave you. So um, I, Tim was telling me some stuff. I can't tell you too much. But essentially, if you guys know this, if you have a bad, um, if you have a bad employer, uh, a bad boss, uh, you know, you could have the best job and the worst boss, and it, it's, you know, it doesn't matter. You're gonna quit. If you have the worst job and the best boss, you're gonna be loyal. You're gonna do it. You're gonna do it for less money. You're gonna work harder. And so that's kind of what I've learned is that leadership can move mountains. And so that just goes to tell you that they have a perfect job. They're great people. And so the only factor in this equation, the only variable is the company is not good. So, uh, yeah, bad company morale. Bradley, yeah, it seems like their management moved around a lot and they have some weird history. Um, so at the end of the day, it's, it's probably best for them that they move on. Um, I'm sure they wanted to own more of the company and uh, maybe they didn't let them do anything. And yep, Christina says, I can't agree more after all the hard work they came out with time and they put it in. Yeah, they need to move up the ladder. If, so, so the great part about this is you're not stuck there, right? A contract ends, uh, you, a new job opportunity comes along. They can do whatever they want. Now they have the skills to start their own company and uh, they have the confidence and they have the fans like you. And um, at the end of the day, if you're really doing what you love, I think that's all that really matters. It seems like that's pretty much one of the few things that really matters. Hey, is SIG smoking uh, allowed in your chat? Yes, it is. Man, this Caffey Cigar, you know, I don't work for like cigar companies, so I can tell you guys whatever the heck I feel like. This is a cigar that is highly underrated. You had these like Graham and Vanilla and a uh, perfect burn, perfect draw, um, a very good natural chewy sweetness. Um, I'm telling you what, these Caffey Cigars, if you find them, go get them because they're, they're pretty affordable, they taste great. And I don't work for these people. All I can tell you is what I like. Uh, I'm surprised you don't have a zero complete clause in a contract. A zero compete clause. Um, maybe that's like, a, maybe that, maybe they do. Maybe they don't. I don't know. Maybe they didn't think anyone cared about the workers. They just thought we have a big company and YouTube doesn't matter. But we're finding out more and more that um, video influencing is more powerful because we get a directly contact, we get a directly connect with our uh, consumers or clients or fans. Um, the closer we can get to, to this gap, you know, closing the gap, the, the better the business generally is. Spelled like Kath, no, no, spelled like this. Can you see this? K-A-F-I-E, Kaffee. I'm telling you guys, I've had a lot of cigars and there's not a lot that impresses me. This is one that impresses me here. Uh-huh. Killer burn, killer smoke output. Uh, yeah, Josh, I'm telling you right now, uh, I've had a lot of more expensive, you know, I've had cigars in the $40 range that are just as good. Um, so yeah. Yeah, I always find, I try to find the coolest stuff for you guys. So check this out. If you guys saw this, see this right here? This is the Govi Wi-Fi hygrometer. So the cool part about this is I, I, I did a review on it before. K Barry got it right. This is um, basically, it's just like the one I had before. That one is a Bluetooth hygrometer. This is Wi-Fi. I don't need to plug it in. I don't need to do anything. I just turn it on. I push a button 
and it's instantly Wi-Fi capable. So I was up north checking my humidor, I was at work, I was over here. It's very, very accurate and it takes AAA batteries. So I'm gonna probably put this on my list for you guys to get for Christmas. Um, I'm sure I'll put a link down below. But basically this is like the perfect hygrometer and thermometer and it's a huge display. Can you see that? And it takes triple A's. I love the triple A uh, option because I can just slide this in and out of the tray and um, triple A's are great. So I'm telling you, people always ask me, how do I get Wi-Fi? How do I get the smartest humidor? This is how you get the smartest humidor. Uh, it's, this is probably like around 75 bucks but it does everything. It's super hyper accurate within like two percentage points. So, mm -hmm. Mm. Christina, this is looking really good over here. So this is a Govee, G-O-V-E-E. -E. And I'm telling you guys, like um, they sent this out for review, but uh, I couldn't recommend it. You know, you know blah, blah, blah. I can't talk right now. I couldn't recommend it any higher. Um, you have a battery display on top, which I really, really like. And um, I put this in my humidor, and so I can look at it or I can look at my phone and have instant access to everything. So I just think this is great. Let me know what, if you got, what you guys think about it. Oh, she can't wait, she says. <laughs> so yeah, oh man, I gotta slow down because it's, it's, only, it's only 16 minutes. <laughs> This is one of the few cigars I can retrohale, and it tastes even better. Uh, it's very smooth. Uh, I've, had, I've heard some reputable people saying that our obsession with keeping a perfect community isn't the trouble. What do you think? Yeah, uh, world's smartest humidor. Just got smarter. It did. It's very smart. Um, so Ron has a good question. Um, is our obsession with humidity, does it matter? And I would say it only matters... It depends on how big your humidor is. For instance, if you have a humidor that's like 50 cigars, I've noticed you probably, it's like, I don't know, like the, the, the climate in there probably doesn't change as much. Um, the cigars probably maybe aren't as valuable. Um, and you know, you probably just don't care as much. But if you have a huge humidor worth the thousands and thousands of cigars, you're probably going to care a lot more. So. You know, if you have over a thousand dollars worth of cigars, it's probably worth it to have something like this to make sure that you're monitoring the levels and um, making sure that the cigars are aging well. Because if you have a thousand dollars worth of cigars, you're not able to smoke those as frequently. So, you know, you might have those cigars for years and years, and that's why you want the hygrometer, the the humidity, to be perfect. Because I've noticed even if the even if the cigar is dead for like. Uh, see, even if the cigar is dead for like two months, it's going to taste not nearly as good, basically. Yeah, I'm not saying that you don't care if you have 25 cigars. I'm just saying when people uh, buy all these gadgets, it's because they have, you know, a ton of money into it. And they've been doing it for a long time and they know what they like. So I'm not saying that 25 is not good. I'm just saying there's less risk in that, you know. Does that make sense? Yeah. So 25 is great though. I, I would probably do 25 um, like on the side somewhere that was like really, really high quality and then like everything else, just in case like it, it was like a, like, a, like a mold issue or something. I was thinking about that, like diversifying my humidor. Let's see here, 264, 264, mm-hmm. Christina, I have two jars filled with Atabe, Undercrown, and Deadwood Camacho. Ooh, those are hot. See, those are high quality smokes. What do you think about Rabbit Air? So, uh, Benny, I was just gonna show you guys this new box I got in the mail. It should compete with Rabbit Air. Um, they sent it in for review, and I'm thinking I'm gonna review it this weekend. And um, yeah, let me show you guys. Hold on. Because I think Rabbit Air is really, really cool, but for a lot of people that saw my review, it was way too expensive. So um, this company reached out to me. They said, hey, we have a cheaper option here. Hold on. 
I'm using the box as a big old table here. Okay, let's see here. All these, all these gadgets all, all over the place. So here's all the boxes I'm gonna use to send you guys stuff. Put that over there. And check this out. Oh my lord. Oh gosh. Oh yeah, some people use Boveda, some people don't. Oh my lord. Okay, hold on. Oh. This is a new uh, rabbit air competition, you know. Oh, wait a minute. That was close, that was close. That was close. Hold on, let me see what this thing is. Let me show you guys here. Hold on. Oh gosh, this thing's big. <laughs> oh, it's Christmas! Okay, hold on. Oh, what the? What in the heck? What in the? Okay. Okay. Look at that. Can you see that? It's called the Renfo air purifier. Hold on. Let me get this box. Woo! Oh. I'm like, I'm working in a tight space right now. <laughs> okay, so this is what they sent. This is called the Renfo. And, um, yeah. So basically I bought it and they said, they said, hey, give us a review and if you like it, um, let us know. Put out, put out, just give us your honest opinion. And then they said, um, yeah. I said, well, let me buy it first to give my real opinion. And then if you really want, you can reimburse me. So, um, so yeah, that's what I did. I bought it and hopefully they'll reimburse me. But um, really, I just want to give you guys my, my professional opinion. Hold on here. Because I know what the rabbit air looks like. So this is a good comparison here. What? Okay. Oh, there's directions in there. We don't need directions. Okay, hold on. All done. Okay. It looks pretty nice, doesn't it? It looks kind of like, uh, I don't know. Kind of looks like a little refrigerator at first. A little bit. It doesn't look as fancy as the Rabbit Air, but it's about the same size, maybe a little smaller. Okay, hold on. Okay, did I miss comments? Thank you for using USPS. I think Caesar works there. What's in the box? What's in the box? No, what's in the box? I think it was the wife, the head of his wife, right? So this is the new air purifier I just got. Renfo, I think it's called. And they said that it has an active charcoal filter for smoke. And then they said it also has a, uh, a HEPA filter. So it should be just like the, the Rabbit Air. Hold on. Okay, it's plugged in. Hold on. Hold on, bruh. Oh. Okay, just like the rabbit ear, you have to take it, take all these plastic parts off. And it has to go back in the same order. But it looks exactly like a rabbit ear, just a little smaller. And uh, here you can see, I think that's the HEPA filter. Okay. How long do you smoke? Yeah, is it, it looks pretty great. Hunter says, how long do you smoke cigars? Normally I smoke, you know, cigar anywhere lasts between like an hour uh, and maybe two hours sometimes, you never know. But somewhere between 45 minutes to two hours. It all depends on the size of the cigar. Okay. I think this goes, does it go like that? Okay. 
And then we have, here, here's the charcoal filter, just like, just like the rabbit air. Okay. I guess the charcoal is good for um, smoke. The smoke can cling to it. Can you guys see this? Here, let me, there you go. So, I think I'm doing this right. Did I do this right? I think I need tabs to pull on it. Um, I think I put this in wrong. Because I don't see the tab. Huh! Well shoot, how do I get the, how do I get the tabs out now? Well now I need some sort of nut. Oh yeah, I got a knife. Aha! Always get your knife. Okay. Uh, I was right. So it looks like the tabs have to be out so you can grab it. So it looks like it goes this way. Okay. Can you see that? I have to smoke cigars high. Yeah, when it's really cold, you have to go smaller. So that goes in that way. This goes in, that's a number three filter there. Okay. So far, so good. This looks like some sort of cat hair, like basic filter. The large particles go in here. Can you guys see this okay? Oh, it's Velcro. Okay. And then this goes on top of that. Somehow this works here. Come on. It's not really an exciting video, but this is really what I do. I test products for you guys all the time. And I gotta tell you what's good and what's not good. The truth is when you're a YouTuber, life can be kind of boring actually. Kind of lonely because you're often editing videos by yourself. And um, yeah, so people think that it's like super glamorous and it, it can be, but a lot of times you're just, you know, working on your computer, answering emails. I probably spend 10% of my time in front of a camera. The rest is just behind the scenes, you know? I don't know how this works. I give up. Okay, hold on. All done. Okay. Okay. I think I got it right. This is definitely harder to put together than the than the rabbit air. Okay. Okay. And oh, I have to get my cigar. Uh -huh. mm. <laughs> I'm spilling ash everywhere. How's this looking? Oh no! It's cooling, I gotta... I messed up my batch. No! I got, I got focused on this. This is really cool, check this out. It's got like these lights everywhere here. Can you see all these lights? It's like glowing and blinking. So it takes air in through the side and it pushes it to the top, I think. Huh. Uh-huh. So will this take the cigar smoke out of the air? It should, that's why they sent it. The idea is that, I guess it can filter the smoke. Let me see here. Okay. So, 
I'm putting it right by here. I don't really smell any smoke coming out of it, but I'm in the room here. Oh, look at that. It has timers and it tells you when the filters are bad. You guys are going to see a complete review of this later on. Right now I'm just kind of showing you what it, like my real first impressions. It's not too loud either actually. I think it's kind of cool. It's a little smaller. If I can try smoking this inside, uh, that would be great. So we're going to test it out a little tonight. Huh. Mm -hmm. Of course I wasn't paying attention and this looks a little under roasted so we're going to have to do a better batch here in a second. Oh man. Oh man. This is, see this is real life. This is not planned. This is me actually doing you know testing things. So I'm going to show you guys a full review of the of the Govi and of this Renfo. And I like, check this out, I like how you can carry it from room to room. See that? All the buttons are on the top here. So you can just press whatever you want right here in the top. I think it's kind of cool. And even if I were just to use it as like a, like a coffee filter, like this thing kind of smells. I think that might be a really, really cool way to, um, you know, to filter out the garage a little bit, you know, this smell and this smell. We'll see, we'll find out this weekend. We shall see. Okay, I missed comments. Yeah, Ron, I better plan ahead. Let's see here. Wow, it does look like Eva, Ava. Um, it says in the box, it, it does around a three, a 300, square foot so maybe 30 by 10 or 15 by 15 or something like that so maybe like a small room um that's what it says i think 320 square feet um so i think the rabbit air did more than that but makes sense you know mm -hmm. <coughs> i'm so <coughs> I'm so ADHD. Got this and this and this and uh, not planted at all. This is <laughs> yeah, exactly. I think that's what this this right here. I think was I, I paid a hundred and uh, like thirty bucks for it, whereas the Rabbit Air I think was more like five or six hundred dollars. So I want to do a comparison. Well, actually, Tim has my rabbit air, but I want to do comparison because, um, you know, this is a fifth of the price, basically. And does, does that mean it's a fifth good? Is it one fifth of the quality? Right now, I can tell you it's not as high quality, but I think it's going to do the job for a small room, for a small man cave. Um, right now, I'm putting my cigar up to it, and I can see it's drawing in smoke very fast. It's relatively quiet. It's blowing air up at me. Right here, hold on. This is as loud as it gets. That's as loud as it gets. Pretty quiet. Mm -hmm. Put it in your shisha. <laughs> Put it in your she shed. Um, so I think the Rabbit Air is made in the U.S. This one I'm I'm pretty sure is China. Um, I got it on Amazon. So I'm thinking I'm pretty sure that's why it's cheaper is because it's just Chinese labor. I'm not sure. I think so though. This is called. Let me turn this off. Renfo? How do you say that? R-E-N-P-H-O. Renfo. I'm pretty sure that's how you say it. So, we have a pre-filter, charcoal filter, 
activated carbon filter, I guess that's different, a HEPA filter, and this says it's an antibacterial peptide. So this does not produce ozone. Some of the uh, air humidifiers, they, they trap molecules to the, to the inside, but then they give off ozone or O3. This doesn't do it, it just filters the air. Some people don't like ozone because they say it's toxic. Yeah. No doubt, gotta represent. Um, yeah, Ron, if you wanna buy American, go for it, man. Um, I, I definitely believe in American products. Um, but this could be a great, a more affordable thing for a lot of people, you know? That's what I'm thinking. That's what I'm thinking. This thing's dying on me. I'm just a mess right now. I gotta calm down. The sugar's coming in. So, this weekend, you guys have to hold me to it. Watch on Instagram. Watch on um, YouTube. I'm gonna try to get both the reviews done. I'm gonna give away, uh, Christina, you, you're next. I'm gonna give your your uh, your your gift. Not tomorrow, because they're closed. But I'm, uh, I'm gonna get the box ready tonight. And um, I think that's it. What else we gotta talk about here? You guys, give me some questions here. We have 23 people. Baller on a budget, yeah. So for a hundred and something bucks, um, the filters, I'm hoping they're cheap. But, um, I'm thinking this could be an affordable way for you guys to have a cigar inside in the winter time. You know, we don't really have to worry about that here, but it was a big problem back home. I'm definitely going to talk more about this lighter because people, people talk to me all the time. It's a vector lighter, um, so this is going to go on my list for Christmas because vector is very affordable. It's very reliable. I fill this thing up like once or twice a year maybe, like every three months. I don't know, it's, it's pretty rare that I fill it up. And it's a huge flame. It's, it works great outside. See how far away I am? I'm like four inches away from this cigar here. Someone commented, I missed it. Um, Christina, good question. My dad, I'm gonna see him for Christmas, after Christmas. So I'm gonna do a cigar video then with him. Nice! We purged it! I always like to show people how to purge because you really do get great flavors after a purge. You blow it through the cigar. Have you tried the Torpedo Lighter Hard and Soft Flame? I have not. It sounds very good though. Um, I generally don't use the Soft Flame, um, but you know, they don't, they don't bother me either. I think Soft Flames are great. If you um, uh, if you are inside only, but for me, I, I smoke outside, and, and so flame soft flames aren't that great for outside. But that doesn't mean it's not a bad. It could be a great lighter. Maduro is his choice. Maduros are great, dude. Uh, let's see here. Opinion on Undercrowns. Undercrowns are great cigars. Um, I have yet to try the Dogma series, but for the price, Undercrowns are one of the best um undercrown for me is like a it's like the padrone two, um, 2000 so undercrown is kind of like the five dollar t9 in some ways um if you know what the t9 is i think the undercrown was originally that but it was the second of that um or something of that nature um so yeah they're, they're great cigars man It has to cool down now. It's got to cool down, mate. It's got to cool down. Okay. All right. Let's see here. Any other questions? Let's see how this coffee looks. See, this is what happens when you're ADHD. You can't get anything done. Uh, 
Come on. I hate this little... There we go. See, this is very under-roasted. So we're going to have to put this in again. And um, I'm going to have to send Christina stuff that isn't messed up. After this, I'll do another batch. Only problem is you have to have a coffee roaster. I mean, a coffee grinder. If you don't have a coffee grinder, you can't really eat the you can't eat the beans. I mean, you can't. I mean, I guess you could. I don't know what you could do. You basically need a coffee grinder. And start. So hopefully that will be enough. I'll definitely enjoy this. Last week when I did the double roast, you guys, it was incredible. Um, so I don't really think it affects flavor that much if it stops and then I roast again. Um, I think as long as it's fresh, that's really what matters. Uh, Daryl, coming in late, smoking a Gurkha Titan with a coffee. Morning from Bangkok. Dude, very good. I think I just sent a Titan to... Uh, the guy last week, his name was, um, I think his name was CD or CB, CB. I sent him a Titan with some coffee and another cigar as well. And it'll leave a Serie V. Pretty cool. How's the Titan? Man, I gotta, I ha hey, uh, hey, Kathy, uh, if you're out there, and you want to send a few more, please do. <laughs> These are so good. I'm going to have to buy some here. Get some for Christmas. Caesar likes his coffee like he likes his men. Mmm, black. <laughs> uh, Jordan, you should brew, you should cold brew your freshly roasted batch. I could. Um, I just think that cold brew is so much better um, I just don't like, I don't know, I, I, I prefer fresh coffee for hot coffee, and normally when it's stale I make cold prep, cold brew, I don't know why, it seems to be, that seems to work for me, but I do love cold brew, but when it's cold, when it's hot, when it's really hot in Phoenix, I do cold brew, Christina Harris, we need a smell of vision so we can really experience that coffee, yeah, Daryl says he picked up 30 sampler on cigar bid, all seem very good, Definitely recommend it. Um, I hope you saw my video on that. Um, people think it's fake or they think it's too good to be true. Um, here's what I tell people. Uh, let me be the guinea pig, you know, like, uh, I bought this air purifier to see if it's good. I, I get this, I get this, I get this. You know, I, I do a lot of this stuff for my channel and we do, we do like vlogs and stuff. We do mattresses and um, a lot of this stuff is just, we're, we're guinea pigs, you know, so um, I, I love Cigar Bid. I think it's a killer place. Um, it's, it's owned by Cigars International, so I, I've got nothing wrong with that either, you know? Okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. We're not burning. Christina says, nah, the Willy Wonka send me in the telly. The telly? Oh, the telephone? Oh, no, the, the television. Airplane reference. Oh, okay, 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 okay. For the smell of vision, you mean? <laughs> I feel like I'm far away to you guys. Let me scoot forward. I, I like, okay, I like getting close. Is that weird? Let's get close. Shall we? Shall we get close? <laughs> so here's the biggest problem. USPS, I could only grab six, six, uh, six boxes. So... I'll have to grab more, but I want to do at least one or two every week. Okay, how about this? If you guys are watching, there's 23 of you. I'm gonna give away another. I'm gonna give away another, um, another box. I'm gonna give away two more, another package with with coffee and cigars. Do you guys want to do that? I'm gonna give you guys a test right now. What? Roaster's on fire. It looks like it's on fire. Don't scare me, man. Okay. No, it's good. We're good. 
It looks like it's on fire though with the light. See, that's those are the burners in the back. And that's the light. All right, so here is my test for you guys. If you want to get a free, uh, if you want me to send you cigars and coffee, um, I want you guys to name. Uh, if you're if you if you are a real super fan, what's my dog's name? How about that? If you guys, the first person to say my dog's name, you get a a, a care package. I'm I, super fans. I'm calling I'm calling on you, super fans. We'll find out. We'll see here. Nope, not princess. Not princess. What is my dog's name? If you were a super fan, you might know this. If it's too hard, I might have to come up with another question. Caesar, damn, it's been a long time. It has been a while. She's a little white poodle dog. And her name, what is her name? What is her name here? Mm -mm. Not darling. <laughs> kind of sounds like that like you know it sounds like a poodle dog name yeah 24 people you showed her in the new air episode I did I show her in, in a lot in a lot of videos so maybe you guys don't know it if, it, if this is too hard I'll, I'll just I'll give it 30 more seconds and then we'll try another one here Not precious. No, no, no. <laughs> Darlene. No, not Dar. It starts with a B. A B as in boy. What is it? What could it be? What could it be? No, nope, not bow. Bow. Bow wow. No. I don't think anyone knows it. No, nope, not baby. No, 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 no. No, no, no. Nope, not Bonnie. No, 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 no. Okay. Next question. So my dog, Precious is too much like Science of the Land. My, it's my Precious. I've actually I've never seen Science of the Land. I've seen like half of it and I got freaked out. No, my dog's name is Belle. B e, l l e. Um, but so we, we that's too hard of a question. I don't I don't think I talk enough about her Let's see Getting a little too hot back there uh, Do you know my cat's name I, I would be surprised if you guys knew my cat's name <laughs> Ron so, okay, so here's a, here's a cigar question. Okay, so here's for the next giveaway. She is very cute. Belle, Belle is very cute. Okay, what are the, uh, actually, Christina, I can't give you two, can I? Maybe I can, okay. What are the three regions in Nicaragua that grow tobacco? What are the three main areas that grow tobacco in Nicaragua? first person I'm sending a package to you type it out <laughs> hey how's it going Benny Benny we're doing giveaways here swaggy Jalapa Esteli oh Caesar Caesar's got it Wait a minute, Estello? No. Oh, yeah, yeah, Caesar. Yeah, 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 C Caesar's got it. I, th I think Caesar got it first. He just spelled it wrong. Yep, you guys are right. You guys are right. You guys are right. Caesar got it. Technically, he got it right. He just, he spelled it wrong. It's Esteli, Jalapa, and Condega. Let's see. I'm pretty sure, yeah, Pete was really close. Okay, so Caesar, no problem, Caesar. I get typos. You got it right. 
So, Caesar, I'm gonna send one out to you. If you want, you can you can email me below, um, or um, I could probably meet you in person since we're kind of we're kind of neighbors. That would be cool if I could meet you in, meet you in person again. So we got Caesar and Christina as our giveaway winners. Yeah, I can't like. That was pretty good. You guys are really fast. Like we had okay. Ron got Ron actually had the best answer. He actually gave. He actually said Esteli, Jalapa Valley. Uh, I can't even. I don't even know the other one. Ametepe, Ametepe, Ametepe. I never even. I didn't even know about that one. Kandega. I just know that I know the other main three. Daryl got it right. Uh, Chris Kirby got it right. So you guys are on it tonight. You guys, you guys really do know your cigar stuff. Maybe I should do this every week. Do like, um, like cigar trivia. Would that be a good idea? And gal, yeah. Nice. Well, meet. Uh, email me. Or, or uh, uh, Instagram me, we'll get something going here. I hear the first crack going. Yeah, TB! TB got his package last week. Free stuff. Who, do, who doesn't love free stuff? Check this out. I got tons of stuff for little gifts. Uh, I, you know, this is kind of like 12 days of Christmas, sort of, but I'm not going to be, I'm going to be gone for Christmas, so. And yep, 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 yep. And if you guys are just tuning in. I'm drinking some hot cocoa with rum. And I've got a Caffey cigar. Caffey is one of my favorite cigars. It's a Honduran cigar. Honduran uh, puro. I like to say puro. It's a puro. 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 I can never say it, even the cool Spanish way. Yeah, you're welcome, man. No problem. And we're roasting coffee right now for the giveaway winners. That's what we are doing. James, you can order boxes through the USPS website and they will deliver to your home. I did not know that. Every time I go there, the little guys... These are the uh, the small flat rates. Uh, people grab them like crazy, um, and I know they're free. And I think it's seven dollars and forty cents to ship now. Um, I didn't know though that they. I didn't know you could have them delivered to you. I thought that was a small business thing. I'm gonna turn this thing back on. So it, it turns red when it's dirty air. And it goes blue when it's clean air, just like the rabbit air. So I think it's pretty cool. Hmm. Hmm. This is cool. It even has a sleep function and a time function. Pretty interesting here. I think you need to turn this thing on like blast for it to really get the smoke. Well, it seems to work pretty well. Okay, I missed a few comments here. Cocoa and rum? What the heck? Made with milk or water? Actually, this one is made with milk. I mean, no, no. This one was made with water, ugh. But, I like it, because it's the Swiss Miss. I think Swiss Miss has like some sort of cocoa milk, uh, powdered milk. Um, I should have done it with real milk though. And it has some dairy topping on here, some Reese's dairy topping. If you're feeling crunk, if you're feeling real crunk, tis the season. Oh. Oh. Oh, that's good. That's good stuff, really. Oh, that's that's hard to swallow. Mm-hmm. 
Oh, oh, I almost lost it again. Okay. Let's put that in the cool cycle. We'll open this bad boy up. Oh yeah, she's crackling. She's crackling. My neighbors are like, what the hell is going on? I'm in my garage right now and I'm kind of yelling actually. I got all these lights on. A pack of 12, just, so just order a pack. The boxes are for anyone to use. Very good to know, dollars are dollars. Very good to know. I love, okay, Christina, do you do the uh, uh, Ibarra mix or the uh, uh, Abuelitas? Because people either do one or the other around here in, in Phoenix. It's kind of crazy. Most people don't like Ibarra, but I like Ibarra. I think it's just as good, if not better. I think it's quite good. And it's actually really cheap here, too. It's, it's you know, it's better than Swiss Miss. James, if you like peaty whiskey, you should go buy some peat and put it in a coffee roaster while it's roasting. It sounds really, really good. We can make a, a peaty coffee. That would be great, wouldn't it? I would totally go for that. It, it might ruin the coffee roaster, but it would, it would taste great. Uh, let's see here. If you think about it, I could almost just put this right on top. You know, that might be a good extra way to make it extra clean in here, you know? Oh, oh yeah! Oh, I think that's a happy face for the Abuelita. Okay, let me know. Do you guys like Abuelitas or Ibarra? Which one's better? We'll do whatever we can find. Hey, bud, I owe you the blind man's puff. Yeah, give me, um, Pete, Pete, send me a blind man's puff. I've, I, I think you talked about this before. I'm very interested in this thing. I'm also interested in, um, uh, Tim has the Dirty Viking. I'm gonna go see him soon. I'm, I'm, I'm just gonna have to buy it and, re and review it right in front of him. Hello, people. I'm smoking a pipe loaded with some capstan. Dude, I I love all the old tins. The 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 old the, the artwork, you know, the three nuns and the or is it three sails and capstan and like all the old like Orlick tins and stuff. I love those old pipe tins. I don't know what it is about it. Never had capstan though. Latin born raised but Mexican cocoa is not tasty. What? He loves Three Nuns, very delicious. Yeah, uh, Three Nuns, I think those are the little mini spirals. And I don't know if I've had them yet. I might have. Mm-hmm. This is not comfortable. I'm, you know what, I'm, I'm really just, I'm enduring this for you guys. Because I'm, I'm leaning forward, and I'm trying to read and move the screen. Oh, it's a navy cut. Okay. Uh, I can eat it by the bars. Yeah, I've I've actually done that. If you break the Mexican chocolate up and just eat it, it's not. It's actually not terrible. It's not bad. All right, so we are we are reaching. Oh, Chris says the filthy Viking is a great smoke. Makes me want to try it even more. Um, so we're reaching the hour mark. This is right where I like to, you know, answer, um, you know, specific questions about old videos about new videos. Um, I, I like to talk about YouTube, and now that I'm debt free, I can talk about that. Um, so I like to make the hour mark right around the time where I talk more about questions you have, maybe more deep questions. Um, so yeah, keep them coming. I, I love answering questions anyway, but right around the one hour mark, I start to kinda, I start to, hey, thank you. Debt, being debt free is killer, dude. Like. You do it and you're like, I don't feel different. But then the next month comes and you're like, wow, I actually have money left over. You know, I can I can do stuff, you know. It's pretty it's pretty great.
Very good, very good. Yeah, like FV, Filthy Viking, others. I prefer the Obrigado. My husband loves the FV more. Huh. Very interesting. So the, um, I haven't tried the Obrigado either, so I need to try that one too. Actually, I think I have one. TB says, so how was the Grand Canyon with the hail and all? It was great. So, okay, if you go to the Grand Canyon, I talked about this last week. You show up, it's freezing. You're like, take the picture, let's go. Because, because... It's just, it's a big hole. At the end of the day, you're like, well, now <laughs> what do I do, you know? Um, but we had a great time with family in that cabin. And I, that, when I edited the, the video, it took a long time to edit that. Um, but I'm starting to get better at editing and quicker. And I'm starting to have like a rhythm. Um, and I'm trying to be better at storytelling. So hopefully I'm, I can have more of a narrative. Work until you die, if not debt-free. Retired at 47, happy days. Yeah, so 47 years old, that's a great time to do what you want to do. Um, so congrats, Daryl. Like, uh, now you have to figure out what to do with your time. You got to fill it with stuff you love doing. Mm -hmm. Ron says, do you feel like you were born for a specific type of reason or purpose in the world? Um, you asked for a deep question. That, yeah, okay, let's get deep, let's get deep. Um, the answer is uh, yes. I think everyone has a, a purpose, a reason for being born. I think everyone in this world, I, I really do, I think everyone, I don't think everyone finds it, but I think everyone was born for a reason. And I think it's our job in life to figure that out. And, um, you know, I think it's the journey. The journey of figuring out your purpose is just as important, I think, as actually doing it. Um, so, but yeah, I think I was, I was put on this earth, I think, you know, to, to do a lot of cool things. Help kids get adopted. Um, I love inspiring people. Um, you know, maybe maybe talking about going debt free. I don't know. Maybe that's a purpose, or or maybe um, you know. I don't know. I'm thinking about this stuff. Like like I'm just figuring it out. Like what do I, what do I what do I want to be known for? And I think we're on this journey, and we need to figure that out. And uh, so I guess we call that life, really. What do you guys think? Yeah, the tiny cabin was great. The little loft in the top. It's interesting because the loft is like. It's like a it's like a luxury hotel up there, you know. Um, makes me wonder how you'd ever find a dead body, dude. You would never, <laughs> you would never find a dead body, um, in the uh, up up north. There's like it's it's just miles and miles. You would never find a dead body up there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Oh, it smells good. Yep, smells good. Okay, let's see here. I got questions. I got to an answer. Uh, do, 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 do. Have you guys uh, how have you guys put up your holiday decor? We did. We put up decorations last week. We put up decorations last week. We got it. You know what we have? We got a crappy little Walmart, uh, like $40 tree, and we got some stockings, and we have some cheap Christmas lights. We really keep it simple. Because we're always gone for Christmas, because we travel, we go, we go home to Chicago or Michigan or Florida, so we really don't get to spend that much time with our decorations. So we try to keep it simple. Uh, let's see here. Uh, that toilet was weird. Yeah, Chris, let's talk about that. The toilet is like this big. And I'm trying to explain this to people. Like, why don't they make the toilet just a little bit bigger? You know, why don't they make, um, why don't they make it like just a little bit bigger and a little bit taller? And it could be a full-size toilet. It works perfectly, but it's just a little too small. And I'm wondering like, is it supposed to be small on purpose for like a van? Um, I don't know, but it was really weird and it, and it twists and pulls down. It's kind of weird. 
Uh, let's see here. Hey, Andy just joined the party. Hello. Close to midnight here in the Midwest. Uh, gotta go to work tomorrow. Keep up the great work. Bye. Love you. Thanks, Ron. Uh, let's see here. Wenshin Ding says, just got in. What is the little machine that's rolling in there? This is my coffee roaster. Welcome to the roasting show. I'm trying to do this every week where I roast coffee and I can send out cool, uh, cool packages to you guys. We just did like a little giveaway where I had you guys answer the three regions in Nicaragua where they grow cigars, where they grow tobacco. So now I'm sending out stuff to a few fans. And the, the, the idea is it's like 12 days of Christmas. I can give you cigars and coffee. And so yeah, this is a coffee roaster. Right here, this is for roasting coffee. See that? That's coffee in there. And the idea is that you can roast your own and it's cheaper and it's fresher and it tastes great and it's kind of fun. So yeah, there's a link, there's a link for all this below. If you want to buy one, there's a link for one. How did the last batch turn out? It looks like it's pretty good. Looks pretty good. Sometimes I get like a little flashlight and I look at it and I take it out and I examine it. We have a minute left, so we'll find out in a second here. We'll find out. I'm covered in chaff now. Ah! Let's see here. Uh, what else? I think the batch is good though. Basically, as soon as I hear second crack, I try to stop it. And uh, it seems to be very good coffee um, right around second crack. So yeah, Christina is like, oh yeah, this is so good. And the great part about this, this whole thing is I get to engage with you guys. I get to enjoy a cigar. I get to talk about life. We can talk about you. I can give stuff away. Um, so what's the best way to make this so I do it right? Oh, the coffee is from Ethiopia. Um, let me show you. This is how I buy coffee. So, coffee comes green when it's raw. And this is uh, Ethiopian Agaro Elbu Cooperative. So it comes from Sweet Maria's. And they tell you exactly on here what they recommend, how to roast it, what the flavors are like. It's just like a cigar as far as flavors and everything. They say it's good for espresso, uh, great for dark roast. And so I find Ethiopian uh, coffee is very good. Uh, I think Ethiopia's, I think Ethiopia started the coffee. Uh, the plant is where it came from. Hold on, I'm dropping everything. You guys, this is the messiest live setup. I, I, I really, I should just have a, a professional setup here. That's what I should do. So I gotta shake the coffee out. Ah! Ashes! What the heck? Put this down. We gotta shake it. Shake it, shake it. Okay, let's see what this coffee looks like here. So I wanted this to be a little bit darker, and that's what we got. Oh yeah. Okay, check this out. Can you see this? It looks perfect. The oil is not coming out of it, but it's very dark, and there's a little bit of chaff in the middle. You probably can't see it because the light's all messed up. It looks kind of weird on the video. My hand is really, really white, so it makes the coffee look darker than it really is. But that's the coffee. We gotta shake out the chaff. Yeah, that's what I should do, you're right. How did you get your current position, adoption? Did you study social work or something? I did see your video on your job, but I didn't explain your journey. Yeah, that's a great question, okay. Let me talk about that. Hold on, let me put, let me put that covered in chaff. Normally I do this with a vacuum. Um, yeah, so great question. Okay, let me talk about, so I went to, so I got my undergraduate at Western Michigan University, 
and then I decided to get my master's in, in, in Christian counseling. And then uh, we moved out here the day after our honeymoon to Arizona from Michigan. And I decided um, to get a job with uh, people with brain injuries. And that didn't work out. Then I got a job with people who have serious mental illness. And that was super difficult. And um, when they mean serious, they mean like schizophrenic, they mean bipolar, you know, ma major depression, um, things that are so debilitating that it's just very, very hard to be independent. So I did that for like six months, it was so hard. But I met my friend, my, I met my friend there who got me my job as an adoption recruiter. And um, so yeah, I went from like the, one of the hardest, worst jobs to one of the best jobs. And um, so yeah, I didn't know anything about adoption. I didn't know anything about foster care or, or anything. But um, yes, yeah, so basically I kind of fell in love with it because I take pictures of kids and I get to know them. And then I do a lot of emailing and I, I try to play matchmaker between the parents and the kids. And a lot of these kids have a lot of high needs. And so we're talking about some of the hardest kids to get adopted. Those are the kids I work with. And so, yeah, so basically I just, I was in social work for about five years. Uh, and then I got into uh, DCS, you know, adoption and stuff like that. TB says I should get a, a leather sofa and an ashtray and a whole setup here. I'm de I definitely should do, you know, we don't really, we have, we have a two car garage and we, we just park one car. So I could totally get like a full, you know, outdoor setup here. That'd be awesome. Hold on, let me move this thing here. Ah, covered. If you guys could see, you can't see in the video, but there's stuff everywhere. I'll show you what it looks like. When the coffee is roasting, the chaff comes off of it. And the chaff is the silver skin, and it just kind of like flakes everywhere. And so there's there's stuff everywhere right now. Uh, looks kind of good. Right on time. Made in China. China. Uh, as long as there's smoking cigar, the rest doesn't really matter. True. If you and the thing is, this is all about enjoyment. So I really enjoy doing this. Um, I like roasting coffee. I like smoking cigars. I like talking with people. I like drinking rum in my hot cocoa. It's an excuse to drink rum. I have eggnog in there too. Actually, I should have grabbed the eggnog and uh, put rum in that because that's really good. It's just kind of sweet, a little too sweet. Uh, let's see here. Um, so yeah, I've been at my job now for three years, almost three years. Um, and that's kind of my journey of where, how I got here. And you know, I was doing YouTube in 2010 so I was doing YouTube before it became popular and a lot of people thought I was stupid and a lot of people if you do a YouTube channel they're gonna say that's a waste of time they're gonna say you're never gonna make money but now it's there's there's tons of people making full-time incomes doing it and so I do that alongside my main job I try to spend about three hours a day doing it about 20 something hours a week and so the idea is that I can supplement my income because as a social worker, you don't make a lot of money. So I, uh, I think everyone as a social worker has a side hustle. So we all, everyone, we all joke about that in the social work field. Hey, what's your side hustle? Do you have a, do you run an Airbnb? Do you rent out your house? Do you have rental properties? Do you, uh, do you sell products on the side like Arbon? you know, do you do, um, you know, do you do this? Do you do that? I know a lot of people who babysit and a lot of people who drive Uber. So as a social worker, you really have to, um, you really got, oh, that's a zit. Ew, gross. Um, you really have to have a side income because they're, it's very hard to make a living uh, as a social worker. Uh, what is the five to 10 year plan? So I think the five to 10 year, I'm working on that now because for a while my, my only plan, everything was focused on being debt free. And the great part about that is we achieved it very fast within about two or three years. Um, but now we, now we need to recoup and make a new plan. So I'm hoping maybe um, we could uh, 
my wife wants me to make, she, she's thinking about, she wants to move back home, so we're talking about that. Maybe we could have, uh, you know, maybe this could be a full-time job in 10 years, I don't know. Um, I'm thinking, um, I'm thinking we'll probably have a house by then. Um, maybe we'll have kids by then. And I think when you have kids, everything changes, so we'll see. We have to figure that out still. Uh, I don't know, to me, like, you need a side job at the beginning. When channel gets busy, you can concentrate on one thing. That's true. Uh, so, yeah, that, that that's the other thing. When you have a full-time job and a successful side business, I'm at the point now where I have to kind of figure out, do I want to pursue this or do I want to pursue this? And, um, you know, both are successful and yet they both they both can suffer because of that. So every entrepreneur has to make the decision to go full time sometime. And I don't know if that's the right time yet. My wife is from Chicago. She's from a town next to Chicago called uh, Hinsdale South. Or Hinsdale. Uh, let's, let's see here. Have you thought about adopting yourself? We have thought about, so we've thought about adopting because, um, well, because we work with kids. My wife's a teacher. I work with kids. So we thought about adopting. We were thinking we should probably have our own kids first and then adopt. Um, but I don't think it matters really, but we've, we've definitely talked about it. Now that we're debt free, we can actually really be serious about it too. My wife and I own and run a daycare. Since we have a lot of love giving back to the youth, you can make great money. Yeah. Wow, yeah, see, wow, you run a daycare, that's great. Yeah, daycares are great because you could have like five or six kids every day. I think if you have more than eight, you need a special license or something. But um, uh, you can make a great, you know, you could be a stay-at-home mom and like kill it as a daycare specialist. Mm -hmm. Yep, maybe. And people, um, uh, because I've been doing YouTube for like, you know, a long time, like eight or nine years, I know it works and I know it doesn't work. And so I tell people often, like, just keep doing it, nail it, nail it, nail it. Um, Sean Cannell, he's the guy who has Think Media. He he teaches people about this a lot. He says that you know YouTube is a marathon not a sprint. And I agree with that. You really have to just continue to perfect your, you have to perfect uh, what you do. You have to figure out what works and what doesn't work. And you have to keep trying harder and harder and better. You have to better yourself all the time. And eventually you start making money and you're like, this is great. Now I can reinvest and make more and try new things. And um, so yeah, it's pretty cool. We've got 11 kids, so you guys really have a full-time job. That's great. And I know some people, what they do with their daycare is they supplement that with an actual school where they can create like a, like a kindergarten or a, a pre-K, uh, you know, like a pre-K program. So not only do the kids have daycare, but the older kids who are about to go into kindergarten, they can go through the curriculum for a little extra money and it can prepare them for school. So for like two or three hours out of the day, they're actually learning in, in a school style setting. It's pretty cool. I know some people who make pretty good money. All they do is sell, they sell courses about um, homeschool. They talk about what homeschooling is like on YouTube and then they recommend and sell courses on it as an affiliate and they make great money doing it. So like I tell people, you could pretty much just pick pick anything that you're passionate about. And if you're doing videos on it and you're and you are persistent and you build an audience, um, eventually you're gonna start making money doing it, you know? And it doesn't even have to be about money, it could be about opportunities. It could be about uh, influence. You know, if you have a passion and you wanna influence people and, and you could reach a lot of people through YouTube. Um, if you you know, there, there's like so many cool, like I got to meet Tim from Cigars Daily, right? Just because I had a YouTube channel, he's like, come on over, let's hang out. And now we're buddies. 
And so that's a good example of, it's not just monetary, it's also opportunities. Um, you know, you, I, I gotta go to a few conferences and meet people. So yeah, no, nope, it's not spicy yet. We have about an inch and a half left. It'll get spicy in another 20 minutes probably, maybe 10. This is a Vector torch. Vector, I highly recommend it. I think I have a link below for it, but it's a very affordable torch. Five flames, very reliable. I think these are great table lighters. They're very sturdy and they're very affordable. So, yeah, you can pretty much pick anything you want. And if you're doing it on YouTube, uh, that's why I got rid of my website. I said, that's stupid. I'm spending all this time and money and no one's going on my website. People just watch YouTube videos. And so, yeah, I just stuck with it. It's pretty cool. Can you light a cigar with one match? You could, depending on how long the match is. If it's one of those flimsy matches that are like from a free matchbook, you can't do it. Not not successfully, not very well. You wouldn't want to do it. Uh, let's see here. Um, hey, Namda Tube, happy I caught the stream. Welcome, dude. Snyder says he needs cigars. Uh, Wang Chang, Wang Chang says, what is your favorite cigar in pipe tobacco? My favorite cigar is probably one of these ones. Uh, this is the Caffey. Cigar, K-A-F-I-E. It's a Honduran cigar. I love these things. I talk about them a lot. So it's probably like one of the best cigars for the money. I love pipe tobacco. My favorite pipe tobacco is Fusilier's Ration. Uh, I can never say it right. Fusilier, Fusilier. But uh, they're very good. It's like a, it's like a, a crumble cake. It's really good. Christine, oh wait, hold on. Did I miss someone? Made in China says, I got a I got a Zycar double jet. Very nice. And the cool thing about Zycar is they have a lifetime warranty. So it's a killer, killer product. Question about lighters. I've been more, I've had more trouble. Okay, so when it's snowing, it's cold. And the butane inside when it's cold, it condenses and it doesn't make it easy to combust. It's still in liquid form. So what you need for it, what you need to help it out is you put it in your hand and you're gonna warm it up. You wanna warm it up for like a minute or two, and then it's easier to light. And I find that the gas has time to expand and, and vaporize easier so it, can, so it can combust easier. So warm it up in your hand, give it like a minute or two, and it should help Christina. Hey, Snyder, new sub! What's up, new sub? Uh, put, yeah, put it under your arm you know, uh, heat it up. Some people, they just hold on to it. Some people, they just, um, I've seen people do all kinds of stuff. They put it in their glove or whatever, you know. Um, I'm not a fan of Backwoods, but I don't think I've had one. So they're like a gas station cigar, but that doesn't mean they're not good. So maybe I should try one. They're kind of like the little raggedy cigarellos, right? And you can try jet lighters, they work best. Yeah, jet lighter, this is a jet lighter. Oh, you mean you mean the brand jet lighters, yeah. There's a brand called Jet Lighters and they're like a cheap brand. They're very durable. Uh, Tim sells them at Cigars Daily. They're very affordable, they're pretty much indestructible. So th those are a great affordable brand. Yeah, Backwoods can be, a lot of those flavored cigars can be harsh because the chemicals are uh, very, it's 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 pretty and it's a pretty chemically taste, you know Thunderbirds are great because those are the inserts you put in your Zippo, right? I Still vape actually I vape I vape probably just as much as I smoke a cigar uh, Let's see here. How are Zippos? Zippos are not good for cigars or pipes. They have lighter fluid which tastes really really bad um, I wouldn't recommend it. Um, it makes the cigar taste like the lighter fluid. So if you're going to get a Zippo, get the get the insert. It's called a Thunderbird. C Christina was just talking about it. I definitely recommend those. I, I love the shape and the size and the look and the feel, but not the flavor that a Zippo gives off.
Zippo has Jet Lighter and Beauty. Oh, they do. They're called Blue. It's called Zippo Blue, B-L-U. And um, they don't look as cool. I like the old look with the new, with the new. Oh, uh, guys, I gotta head to bed. Take care. Zippo warning says to not to use on pipe. Yeah, you probably don't want to use it. It's gonna be like really butane-y. I wouldn't recommend it. Good night. So we are almost at an hour, uh, what is it, hour and 45 minutes or so? No, wait, an hour, 85 minutes is an hour and like a half. Okay, so we're leaving for vacation. We're going to Chicago. You're gonna see videos on it. We're gonna leave on the 21st. And then I'm gonna go to Florida with my dad. Uh, we're gonna tear it up in Florida. Um, and that's on the 27th. And then I come back here to to, um, to Arizona on the 2nd. So we have a lot of cool stuff happening. Is this too bright? Whoa. Whoa. Does it, does it look darker in here? It kind of looks darker. It, yeah. Hey, Bob, that's a great question. So it, it snows in Arizona, but it only snows up north, basically. And um, there's like one mountain down south near Tucson where it snows. And so you can go skiing on that one mountain. But really everything's up north uh, and near the Flagstaff area. That's where the snow's at. Yep. So right here it's like 60 degrees, 50 degrees right now. It doesn't snow here. Maybe like once every decade maybe. Let's see. Uh, I think that's about it. Do you guys have any last questions? I'm going to wrap it up. I'm going to send out some packages. I'm going to drink my hot cocoa. And I'm going to start, I'm going to start testing this air purifier. Let you guys know what's up. Because, yeah. Bob, you, you do not inhale with a cigar. It's really gross if you inhale. Tempe has a little dusting of snow when I lived there about 15 years ago. Didn't last very long. Yeah, so it might snow like once a decade. Um, in the morning you might see frost, maybe. Yeah, that's right, Caffey Blend, 1901. He knows it. Oh, I'm covered in, the chaff is everywhere. Yeah, so um, Joshua, you got it right. This is my one of my favorite cigars of all time. The last one. How did you know? That's crazy. Oh, I think I, I think you're the guy who talked about it earlier. Is that right? I'm pretty sure I, I talked about it. So I think that's it. Yeah, he's a genius. He's a genius. All right, thank you guys for watching. Um, I'm going to be back next Sunday. And so we're going to do more giveaways then. I'm going to roast more coffee. We're going to talk about the, the products and how the week was. And I'm going to answer more questions. So thank you guys for watching. Peace, love, deuces, and oh, have a great night. And here I go. Peace.